Hello there, Tony Medley once again and a lovely warm welcome back to my workshop. Today's project, um, as you know, I do lots and lots of uh, segmented fruit bowls and fruit would go in it. Um, just to make it look that little bit more realistic, a pair there, that's one of my apples. Um, obviously an another pair there. What I've never ever done is make um, other types of fruit and today I'm going to attempt to make um, a banana. Never ever tried it before but I think it'll just look realistic, what one banana in there. What I did first was trace round um, a real banana and cut it out onto a piece of paper and all we have to do now is transfer it onto the wood. I found a piece of softer wood because uh, all I, I generally deal in is the hardwood for turning but uh, I've managed to get this piece of softwood so hopefully it'll be a little bit easier to cut so we'll just start by transferring it onto the onto the wood All I'm going to do is cut around uh, the banana shape now with the, the bandsaw. Hopefully it should cut okay. Uh, you might think that my fingers are getting close to the blade, I can assure you they're not. I've got my push stick ready and obviously we'll get started but I'll turn the sound off because uh, I'm going to have my extractor on and so. Now that we've got the basic shape of the banana, uh, what we need to do now, and I've cut the little piece of uh, off cut, is just to mark it halfway down um, the sides of the banana. So if you just mark it until you get a, a, a mark halfway down and then we'll make it a little bit thicker. Right, now that we've got the mark there, what I intend to do, I've got the table set at 30 degrees and I'm going to cut along that line and we're just going to have to be very, very careful of our fingers. 
um, I don't want to come out with it with uh, one of my digits cut off so um, we'll, I'm going to turn the sound off and I will cut it to that line both ways but make sure that you have the flat part on the saw or on the table at all times just to give a bit more stability Now that I've got it looking <laughs> similar to uh, the shape of a banana, what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to sand all the edges down and try and get it into a, a, an even six-sided um, banana. And um, I'm sure it doesn't have to be, t you know, perfect, but as long as we get it to the to the right shape. Now it's time to put a little bit of colour onto the banana itself. What I've done because the I the own the oh, the nearest colour I've got is the intrinsic uh, dyes, which is honey. So I've mixed just a little bit of white to it, and hopefully that will be the right colour. Because honey was a little bit dark. I still think that's a little bit dark. I don't think I've got enough white on it. So. We'll continue on with this colour and see if it, it turns out okay. Hope so. Once you get the desired uh, colour, which is, I still think it's a little bit too dark, and as I haven't got a pyrography kit, um, I thought of another way to just make the ends a little bit darker. So all I've done, I've got a, I've got my blowtorch, and I've got a, a little screwdriver, and this, for the times that I would use a pyrography kit, uh, it's not worth purchasing one or investing in one. So all I thought I would do is try this way, heat the end of the screwdriver up and just brown them ends off. Makes it a little bit more realistic.
What you also find on bananas is that there's normally a, a little sticker. So the next, the next time I purchase some, I'm going to get the little, the little blue sticker what goes on. If you just put the odd bit of black what it's normally on. They normally have a couple of little black spots on them as well. Just put them randomly. Well, I've got it done and it's not the best thing I've ever made but I think a little bit more time spent on it. Uh, the difficult part was getting the colour right uh, and it was just a, in the end I mixed a little bit of honey and a little bit of white and it seemed to come up okay. I burnt the end so it looks a little bit realistic. I'm sure if I get the little sticker what goes on, uh, there's a little blue sticker what goes on them off a, a, a real banana but I've tried it in the bowl of fruit and it does look realistic um, I think a little bit more time hand sanding uh, would have brought it up a lot better so uh, anyway it's something to be going on with anyway if you enjoyed that video uh, please give me the thumbs up it does mean a lot to me uh, it's how YouTube measure me by and obviously they will promote the videos the more likes you get so if you enjoyed it, please give me the thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already and also please leave a comment uh, if you think I'm doing it right or whether I'm doing it wrong. If you've got any tips for me, please leave the, uh, a note in the comments. Anyway, stay safe in these terrible times and I'll catch up with you on the next video. Bye now.